the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today being a Saturday, we offer this Eucharist in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us ask for her prayer and intercession. Let us allow ourselves to be embraced by her maternal care. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us ask God's pardon and mercy for our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body. And through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Samuel. David returned from his defeat of the Amalekites and spent two days in Ziklag. On the third day, a man came from Saul's camp with his clothes a thorn and dirt on his head. Going to David, he fell to the ground in homage. David asked him, Where do you come from? He replied, I have escaped from the camp of the children of Israel. Tell me, what happened? David bade him. He answered that many of the soldiers had fled the battle, and that many of them had fallen and were dead, among them Saul and his son Jonathan. David seized his garments and rent them, and all the men who were with him did likewise. They mourned and wept and fasted until evening for Saul and his son Jonathan and for the soldiers of the Lord of the clans of Israel, because they had fallen by the sword. Alas, the glory of Israel, Saul, slain upon your heights, how can the warriors have fallen? Saul and Jonathan, beloved and cherished, separated neither in life nor in death, Swifter than eagles, stronger than lions. Women of Israel, weep over Saul, who clothed you in scarlet and in finery, who decked your attire with ornaments of gold. How can the warriors have fallen in the thick of the battles, slain upon your heights? I grieve for you, Jonathan, my brother, most dear have you been to me. More precious have I held love for you than love for women. How can the warriors have fallen? The weapons of war have perished. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. 
O Shepherd of Israel, hearken, O Guide of the flock of Joseph. From your throne upon the cherubim shine forth before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Rose your power and come to save us. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. O Lord of hosts, how long will you burn with anger with your people, pray? You have fed them with the bread of tears and give them tears to drink in ample measure. You have left us to be fought over by our neighbors and our enemies mock us. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came with his disciples into the house. Again, the crowd gathered, making it impossible for them even to eat. When his relatives heard of this, they set out to seize him, for they said, He is out of his mind. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We, had a, we have a very short gospel, only two verses, 20, 21 of chapter 3. And in this short gospel, Jesus is portrayed as surrounded by two types of people. One is the crowd. They gather around him because they want something from him. They want to be healed. They want to be felt, fed. They want to be taught. They need Jesus. That is one type of, one group of people around Jesus. Or they probably simply, uh, they, they want to, to be with Jesus. Gusto lang nilang mapalapit kay Jesus. The second group or type of people are the rel is the relatives of the Lord. And here, the relatives want to seize him because they thought he is crazy. Nasisiraan ng ulo. Dalawang grupo ng tao, ang unang grupo, hanga at gustong mapalapit kay Jesus. Ang pangalawang grupo, hindi humahanga at iniisip na nasisiraan ng ulo. They thought he is crazy. Another word for crazy is abnormal. We joke around it, about it. Abnormal ka talaga, no? Okay. It means that may sayad, kulang o maluwag ang tornilyo. Abnormal. Meaning, not normal. So what is the what do we mean when we say a person is not normal? Well, if we normally walk this way, okay, we walk that way, it is abnormal to walk to walk backward. Subukan nyo nga, mamaya pag-uwi nyo, no? Paglabas niyo ng katedral, lumakad kayo ng paurong. Let's see. What happens? People would look at you. Something is wrong with him. Something is wrong with her. She is not normal. Not normal. Or for example, we dress up. 
you come to the cathedral to attend the mass, you dress up. What if one day somebody enters naked? May mga ganyan, ha? Sa kalsada, kumisan, nadadaanan natin isang tao, ang dumidumi, walang damit. We call him or her abnormal. Why? Because it is normal that someone is dressed. It is abnormal that someone goes around in, on walking on the street naked. Normal, abnormal. And Jesus is taught by his own relatives to be abnormal. Why? Because Jesus is doing what is not supposed to be done by as many people as possible. Abnormal because he is not following the norm. Pero, if you come to think of it, my dear brothers and sisters, sometimes what we think as abnormal should be normal. Baka kumisan yung iniisip nating abnormal ay dapat siyang maging normal. Halimbawa, kung nagtatrabaho ka sa isang opisina at sa opisina ng iyon ay garapal ang pangungurakot at pagnanakaw, kapag hindi ka nagnanakaw, sasabihin sa iyo na makasamahan mo, abnormal ka. No? Eto na yung pera, dumadating na sa iyo, bakit ayaw mo pang tanggapin? Pero baka ang normal ay hindi mo tanggapin sapagkat hindi tama. Dahil hindi porke ginagawa ng marami ay tama. Hindi porke ginagawa ng marami ay normal. Kung lahat tayo ay magkaroon ng lagnat, ubuhin, nagiging normal ba ang ubo, ang lagnat? Dahil marami ang may sakit? Hindi. Kaya nga pinag-iingat tayo. Sabi pa rin ng, ng ibang eh, medical experts, wear mask, face mask, because it is not normal. And that seems to be the problem. But what we think is abnormal should be normal. And what we think should be normal is actually abnormal. Jesus was like that. He did not follow the norm. Ang ginawa niya, hindi yung ginagawa ng marami, kundi kung ano ang tama. And that is why his relatives thought he is crazy. My dear brothers and sisters, are we Normal? Are we abnormal? Are we crazy? Are we like Jesus? Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray to the Father in heaven that we may learn from His Son, Jesus Christ, what it means to serve. To every petition, our response would be, Father, teach us the way of Jesus. Father, teach us the way of Jesus. That we as church may go out of our own worlds to serve others with self-effacing love. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us the way, the way of, of Jesus. Jesus. That those in public office may give the best of themselves in serving the people instead of seeking their personal gain. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us the way, way of Jesus. Jesus. That we may show gratitude to those who render service to us in various ways. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us, us the, the way, way of Jesus. Jesus, that like Mary, we may be attentive to the needs of others instead of being too much concerned with our selfish ends. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us the, the way, way of, of Jesus. Jesus, that the sick and the elderly may find respect and attention from their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us the, the way, way of, of Jesus. Lord our God, it is not easy for us to help others when it is inconvenient to do so. May we learn from Jesus to be available to anyone who seeks help, and may you give us the strength to do so. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no requests be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up Let to us the give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name as we commemorate the Blessed Ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, 
and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family, we pray to our common Father in heaven in the words Jesus himself gave us. Our, our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please all stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
but he 